Okay, let's go. Welcome to another episode of Bounce House Billionaire brought to you by Bounce Wave Inflatable Sales. You can click to subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of different things coming in the future that might be helpful you, to you in your rental uh, industry. Today we're gonna go over transporting chairs, but mainly for the backyard inflatable rental industry, not so much for the big event types that have the big box trucks and that sort of thing that work mainly on concrete. There, the chair market in backyards is big, chairs and tables. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's an income, it's an add-on that's really good. And don't charge a dollar per chair for a folding white. Charge two bucks a chair. Most of the time, if they're gonna get their equipment from you, they're gonna pay the two bucks a chair to bring the chairs, one stop, drop type thing, and it speaks to them. Now, the question becomes, you know, eating up space in the trailer, uh, cleaning the chairs and, and maintaining the chairs, and then, you know, dragging them back to the backyard for the customer. And you start to evaluate that and go, I'm only getting two bucks a chair, and I'm gonna walk okay, on four chairs at a time all the way, they're on an acre from the front yard all the way to the back and then I got to pick up and do all that and it's just no value in it. Well, here's the thing. If mom and dad really want chairs and tables, they'll, they sometimes will look to the next company that offers that with the inflatables. So it does make a little bit of a difference there. Not that you need to go crazy with it, but I recommend everybody at least have 50 chairs and you're going to get your money back quickly. Uh, we have some coming next month. They're going to be $14 a chair, um, which is a seven return, seven rental return. So. How do we particularly transform them? Some of you guys may have better ideas or different ideas. I see a lot of people uh, using furniture dollies, which that idea is not bad if you have a back truck, right? That's good, but you're not gonna go up an open trailer gate with that, right? And also, you're not gonna go through grass with that. Problematic, right? So how do we not carry them back and forth, you know, a thousand times? As you can see here, pretty simple setup, right? So this is 50 chairs stacked. And the folding chairs we have are awfully, awfully good, rated for a thousand pounds, and, and they're just super good chairs. As you can see, this is a a bottom bracket or platform we built to the size of the chairs. You guys can get measurements if you uh, message us; we can get you the exact measurement. But you, we just took a chair and made it a little bit bigger than the chair. Some of you guys are pretty handy, pretty crafty. Um, basically, plywood. I'd use three quarter on the top and two by four. So if you look underneath, you will see that we don't put the plywood brace over here on one side because that's what we need this, the plate to slide under to lift this back. This is an electric dolly that it's on. Um, so it holds its own self up. And you can see here's a ratchet strap. You'll have an eyelet that you sink in on each side. So you can ratchet strap right around these chairs and off they go. Um, so that's, that's a pretty basic setup. And as you can see, if you have the electric dolly, this is rolls all by the way, but if you have the electric dolly, of course, this makes your life pretty easy. You know, when you're gonna lift it up and get them off, you just simply hold right here. There's not a whole lot to it. And boom, that's how I leave it at the customers. I'll take the ratchet strap off, tell them when they're done, they can either just stack them back right there, because sometimes they like to clean up their yard a little bit if you're gonna be a little late. Ma'am, just put them right back on the pallet for us. And then all I do is wrap it right back up and, and off we go. And to get them back is pretty relatively easy. I mean, you can see how easy that is. Didn't take much at all. Uh, and even if you have a manual dolly, highly doable. If you see here, this is uh, the Kids Attraction manual dolly. Again, let me slide back on the floor to this one. See it? So here it is. That's the open part right here that does not have the two by four on the bottom. You can see a blade will fit under that. The other side is closed with a two by four. Again, awesome. We can show them here. So we would want to go in on this side of your base, right? Because there's a gap there for your blade to fit under for your dolly, as you'll see here in just a moment. Now with the manual dolly, it's a little more work to get them back, especially if you don't have a stop. So if I took any manual dolly, any manual dolly and put a stop behind the wheels or a little two by four, it'd come back with no problem. So I'm gonna bring in one of my guys that's really strong and knows this industry pretty well. And again, you just get it back to level. You don't have to yank and get crazy. Again, not very hard, as you can see. So uh, they stack pretty nice. Another nice thing, too, when, when, when we're doing these chairs, and as you can see, he can put it down. You just, just want to ease it down. You don't, need to, you, know, you don't want to break your boards and, and do crazy stuff, but this will make them stack pretty nice in your shop. Um, and again, this, I know, you know there's some big event rental people out there that do concrete work, and they got the big chair carriers. I get that. I'm talking about... How do we get it through Floor Tam Sod in the Southeast, right? 
you know, how do we get it through a little bit of a, you know, if you're out in the desert, a little bit of a little rocky area and stuff that you need a dolly to go through. Now we're talking realism. And that's what we do here is we talk realism. So that'll kind of help you there. Um, again, and it's just screws. They just screwed into it. Really cut the wood, build the base around it, put screws in it. Uh, these actually still, we need to water seal these. That helps to water seal them. Um, you know, so, and, and these are covered. So we are currently working, I don't have this one done yet, but I'm working on an exact fit 50 chair design cover. And I want to put a strap around the bottom to tighten that up. I'll let y'all know when it's available. Why? Well, a lot of times people don't understand that they get dirty or in transport, right? Especially if you have an open trailer. Think of the dust on the road, if you had to go down a dirt road, so forth and so on. If you travel with them covered, it's gonna save you a lot of dirt. If you don't, it's gonna be a little more problematic for you, you're gonna do a lot more cleaning. So that's kind of that. Right now, I, that was just a, a prototype. I do like it a lot. It's thin and it's easy to work with, but some of these that we wanna keep covered, we, you know, we'll use our inflatable bags that they come in, something like that, and cover them up. If you look here, uh, these are newer grays. That's some of our backyard rental ones that need clean. So we just, we develop a clean uh, pile for those that they need cleaned up. Um, we, I don't spray a lot of water on them. I'm not a big fan of cleaning chairs with a lot of water. I just open each one of them up, uh, take a, a bottle, a little bit of bleach in it, and some water, spray them down, wipe around and wipe down the legs. Now, the legs get pretty dinged up and pretty beat up because they're metal legs, right? So over a period of time, you'll get some chips and different things like that. You just go buy like a gray paint if you're using gray or a white um, um, Rust-Oleum type paint and see how it's sitting right here. You just take it, shh, you can do 50 chairs at one time in like, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds down one side. Just do it kind of even, you know, as if you'd missed it back and forth. Do it kind of even, run it down. The outside of the legs get the most beating. They look kind of new again. And again, you do have to keep them white. Guys, let me tell you, chairs can be lucrative. They can be very, very lucrative. Um, you know, I, I hated it at first for years. I, I would do a package deal, right? So I would do... You know, I, you know I, I started in 2005, so 2008, if you guys remember the economy in 2008, some of you don't, if you're younger, uh, it was pretty bad, right? So three years after I started, all hell broke loose and the economy went in the tank. I had to come up with package deals. I had to move forward, I had to beat the other people. So I would do like two tables, 12 chairs, choice of your concession and a bounce house for a certain price. I'll just wind it down eight or 7%, something like that. Mom got real excited at a couple 250 bucks. She was getting two, 12, two tables, 12 chairs, a concession and a bounce house. So hated every minute of it. But as I started going and I kind of got away from that, as things got a little bit better and I started charging two bucks a chair, you know, now I'm taking a hundred dollars and that's pretty easy. That's easier than a bounce house. That's easier than anything out. Seven rental return on investment. And I'm still pulling this back and adding it on. Don't take up much room in the trailer for a hundred dollar bill. And here's what we'll do if big church is stuck on our chairs now. We'll take them 300 chairs and two bucks a chair and charge a hundred dollar delivery. Turns into a great job because remember, you know, 50, 50 per, per pallet. I mean, I can get you 300 chairs really quick, wheel them in on a dolly really quick. Generally, they don't want us to set them up. We just let them do it. We're not doing weddings, you know, so we just take them in and let all the ladies that work there set them all up because they want to do everything perfect. So it kind of works out for us. Um, and we also separate those chairs I keep separate. I have enough where I keep my, you know, going inside type chairs separate from my going in the backyard type chairs. People are going to be a little more picky going inside than they're going to be going in the backyard, right? Also, one other thing to notice is you'll see on some of these that we got to replace that. And this is going to happen. I don't care who you buy from. Again, honesty is the best policy. We're always going to be honest with you. And these chairs are pretty old. And you can see here, that's the rust I'm talking about, where you just spray right over it. Guys, look, a lot of these people selling chairs aren't going to show you this stuff. This is real. This is really what happens. This is I'm not gonna hide anything from you guys, right? You wanna know what it's about? This is what it's about. Does it make you a lot of money? Yeah, do you need to put some care into them? You do. So sometimes these feet will fall off right here. We do carry them. Now, not a big deal in the backyard, but like I tell my guys, notice when a feet falls off because you need to put a new one back on. Why? Well, you always go to the backyard, you deliver 15 or 20 chairs, grandpa gets tired, they carry a couple chairs inside to the wood floor, right? So now this goes in there on their wood floor or their tile and that scratches it up. That is why you generally want the, the bases to be on there. Now these are a booger to get on. What you do is you take them when they're new, you, you boil a little bit, or not boil, but get hot water really hot, drop them in there for a few seconds and they'll pop right on and they'll seal really good. If you wanna get wild with it, you can put a little glue on the inside and stick them back on, but they're holding up pretty well. We move a, a lot of chairs. This is just a small portion of our chairs, which you see here. We also do the, um, 
uh, the resin fold and the, the, the up, upper end ones. And we rent those, I think, for 450 or five bucks. These are the really good ones. You know, this is one that needs cleaned and it's, you know, it's got the drain holes in it, but that's an even ground. These chairs are really, really good guys. If you do purchase from them, I'm, I'm a couple hundred pounds. You know, as you can see, they're as solid and as sturdy as they get. And that's a used chair. Um, they fold up pretty easy. They stack um, relatively easy. So, you know, put them on, you have to have them go the same way. And it's really that quick. There's a couple of them, but yeah. So that's kind of what we do with the chairs. Again, everybody's a little different. We're just trying to share what we do. It's made our life a little bit easier. Not trying to tell you guys what to do or we're smarter than anybody else because God knows we're not. We're just learning to still some ways as we go. I just over the years, which has been a lot of them, I've picked up a few things that I can share with you guys along the way. That's the reason that we've done Bounce House uh, Billionaire. Uh, and again, people make fun and go, why would they name it Billionaire? No one's going to be a billionaire in this industry. Again, you got to be a 50 air first, 100,000 air second, 150,000 air. And if you don't believe it, no one else will. And I just don't believe in that philosophy of uh, investing in myself and trying to trying to better myself for my family and somebody coming on saying, oh, it's just you're never going to make it this business and this and that's all hogwash. It's all what, what's here. It's what you believe. So don't forget that if you don't get anything from me, you know, courage is, is a big deal in this business and you got to grind and you got to want it and you got to do what the average won't. It's the only way you're going to win. But chairs will make you some money. Again, they're not going to beat the bounce houses, but they're great out on. And you know, some people start with 50 and end up with four or 500 and they're taking them to, you know, venues and it changes, you know, they're almost into another business, another passive way of doing things. So again, I'm crazy like that. I, you know, if the, I don't like to leave a stone unturned if I can, I'm not big stand with units, but bouncers, tables and chairs that I can drop and go and just keep making money. And a nice thing about chairs too, let's say you do a, a church or a venue and you drop them off on Saturday, a lot of times you can go get them Monday. You don't have to worry about leaving them overnight. You know, they're inside, people are conducive. You go back, get them Monday, nobody hurt. It didn't mess up really your routes. There's a lot of cool things to come out of chairs. Guys, 888-901-WAVE with any questions you have. Um, we're happy to answer them. Again, don't have all the answers, but have a few of them. Um, and we're happy, you know, when you come here, we'll share these things with you. That's the benefit of coming to, to Bounce Wave. If you guys come down in our warehouse, we'll share everything with you. 888-901-WAVE, give us a call if you have any questions.